Hello my friends, welcome back to another exciting episode of Hunting Rocks. As always, I'm your hunting guide, Jeff. And today, I'm going out for fire agates. And to go for fire agates, I gotta pass through the town of Oatman, Arizona. It was founded in 1915. This is a mining town. And uh, wild burrows walk the street. Yep, those guys there are just chilling out, eating their food. All right, you guys, here I am. Quest a fire agate mine and uh, to get here, you have to you have to contact Don Nelson. He's the owner. Super cool guy. He knows lots of stuff about it. Uh, he was telling me a whole lot about the fire agate, how it forms. It's actually pretty close to almost an opal. In fact, it's made from the same stuff. It's just the way it's set up. And here it didn't go into trees to make the opal. But uh, down in the pit, I'm going to get digging. And uh, hopefully, guys, we find some cool fire agate today. All right, guys, I don't know if you can see it, but right here and right here, that is some good stuff. All right, guys, check it out. I got that out of the hole. That is some beautiful fire agate. That'll get cleaned up nicely. Into the bucket you go. There we go, guys. Look at that. That's, I'm telling you, this stuff is so beautiful. I wish we had it at home, although if we had it at home, I want to get to travel out west because Miss Hunting Rocks would say, nah, you can stay home. <laughs> All right, you guys, it is hot, hot, hot out here. So I'm going to try to get myself into the shade. If you come out here, make sure you got plenty of uh, plenty of water and ice like I do. But uh, let me show you what I'm going to start working on here in a second. You guys see that? That's great big pieces of fire agate right through there. That's a real nice looking piece. That's a good looking piece. So I'm gonna take my hammers and chisels. I'm gonna bust this out of the way. Get that piece out. And we'll start pulling this fire agate out. And then, oh no, 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 no. We're gonna start, we're gonna start with this piece right here. And I'm gonna come in right here with my chisel. And I'm gonna get behind it and pop that out. That's beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at that. Okay, let's get that out. All right, you guys, I got this chunk out. Got it cleaned up. A little bit of color on it. That color may come out later. Down below there, we'll have to see. But, yeah, it's a pretty piece. That came from down there. I really need to get back to working in there because that's what I want. And before I'm done with the day, that will be in that bucket there. Okay, I'm going to tell you guys now, this rock is not soft, but check it out. I got it off, and look at that. Oh my gosh, that piece is beautiful. That's going to polish up nicely. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, I still got some more to work on. That's a big chunk of it right there. So with luck, it'll keep popping off like that, now that I've got behind it. But, uh... First, yours truly needs to get some water. Take a break for a second. It's about 110 degrees out here Fahrenheit. So figure what, uh, 43, 44 for you uh, metric fans of mine. I'll be back in a bit. guys you can see what I'm going after now it's uh well it's in the shade it's hard to see but uh it's part of this formation here that I was working on and I didn't even know it was there until uh, I got ready to move so we're going to uh we're going to chip that out and uh it looks like it's a real good big piece I'm hoping it is who it's so hot all right, you guys, I got it out. Here's the other side of it. it broke up a little bit on me. Ooh. And here's some, uh, here's some pretty little pieces I found while digging. These are gonna go in the bucket. And uh, hunting rocks, they're gonna go sit in the truck for a second and uh, soak up some AC because it's hot. All right, friends, look at that. That is my next target. 
we're gonna get that out and that's a big piece it's probably not gonna come out all in one piece but we'll do what we can to get it out look how beautiful that is oh that's got some beautiful fire in it that is a pretty piece of agate let me get some water on this hold on a second oh yeah look at that looks like it's got some fire in it too Ah oh, yes this is going in the bucket I'm gonna keep working this because there's more it looks like I'm able to get behind it and pop it off the wall that's good that's good now I don't gotta bust through this incredibly hard old rhyolite here this stuff is way baked and it's a whole lot harder than it was up in the Dugway geode beds there's a nice piece there I'm gonna work on here in a second but gonna keep working on this got a lot of bucket to fill still now we're talking look at that and it's coming right out of here oh there's another nice little piece and I should be able to, yep I can get behind that all right let's keep let's keep clearing this out oh this turned out to be a good day first it was hot and it was hard to do the work but I'm getting it now I think I figured it out all right you guys I got into a pocket of clay now here's the thing the clay came into these pockets after the agate was there there's a big chunk of agate right through there what happened is the agate would form in here and there were holes and cracks and the such like you see like here's a crack and uh this area was covered in ocean three times since this stuff formed so since this was covered in ocean clay and dirt and fish scales and poop and all that good jazz would get in there when it did turned into dirt and that dirt was in the middle of these pockets so it keeps the agates safe and it gives you a good idea when you're on it I need to pop that out I'll use hand tool for that and uh, get this out but this there should be good stuff there and there's oh yeah look at the fire in there that's real good stuff all right let's get this out gently and I'll be back to you guys once it's out well, shoot, you guys. That piece wasn't as good as I thought it would be. Now we're going to pop it open a little more. But uh, there is some good stuff in there that I'm seeing. So I'll get back to working on this. I'll check that out here in a little bit. All right, you guys, check this out. That's a nice one. And I got the top part loose. Let's try not to, let's try not to damage it. Uh, come here. All right, check that over. Nothing. Throw it out the mine. Get that overburden off. Oh, look at that. Look at this piece. Ooh. That's nice. Okay. I'm going to pop that out, and when it's out, I'll show you guys. That is a beautiful fire agate. Oh, my goodness. Let me get some water on that. Oh, look at that. It's got fire for sure in it. Oh, that's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Here, let's keep checking this area. There might be more. This could be a, yep, there's a little piece. This piece, uh, this piece right here has the acid eye. That's done by acid that was in there. That's cool. Look at that. It looks like a little fish eye. Okay. Set that there, keep checking this hole. I'm gonna move a little bit. I honestly don't know how much longer I'll be here. I definitely don't have a full bucket, but guys, it's hot. Holy cow, I got an instant cold pack in my hat, on my head. Keep my brain cool so I don't forget who I am or where I am. All right, my friends, the heat has got me been at this for about four hours i'm definitely gonna do this again the next time i'm gonna do this in october because it is oh lord i'm burnt up but i got about a quarter of a bucket i can't complain it's more than i would have got at home and honestly i had a really fun time doing this so i'm gonna head back down pay the man and uh i'll see you guys back in st louis what kind of mining trip would it be if I didn't stop at Radiator Springs? All right, you guys, that was Quest of Fire Agate Mine. And uh, 
I tell you what, as hot as it's been in the Midwest and everybody complaining about it, it's about 20 degrees cooler here. It feels actually kind of nice compared to being out there. But anywho, that's enough of that. Let me show you what I got. I didn't get too much that day because like I said, it was just too terribly hot, but I did get some good stuff. Now I know it's not a whole bunch. I'm actually missing a couple pieces that uh, I've already given away and sold to people. But here is some of my fire agate before it's cleaned. I'm going to get the water hose. I'm going to clean some of this off and I'll show you guys what it looks like once it's cleaned. All right, you guys, and here's a bunch of them that are cleaned and sprayed off. So you can see some of them. Um, I'm definitely going to have to give an acid bath to. That one's got some beautiful coloration in it. Let me get some sunlight on that. See that light up right there? Once all that's cleaned off, it'll be really nice. But some of my better pieces, like this one here, that'll be a beautiful piece once it's polished. The same with this. Look at that. It's that uh, chocolatey color that you're looking for while you're out there. This one needs some love, a little bit of acid. Homer Simpson said don't worry Marge there's acids it'll take that off now but these here are some of my best pieces that are ready to be polished especially this one and once they're polished those will make beautiful little pieces of jewelry I love this one it's a little broken but not horrible So, all right, guys, I know there's not a lot there, but don't worry, I'm going to change that. I am going to go back to the fire agate mine, but I'm going to wait until probably October or go back early in the season. Um, it was my first time there, so I wasn't really prepared for it. I brought my big hammer, I brought my chisels and the such like that. But what I really need to do is get a couple more batteries for my power drill because that's one of the few places that I've ever been to where I was told if you have a generator and a jackhammer, you can use it there. So you can actually do some real mining there. Whenever you go to Quest of Fire Agate Mine, essentially you become an employee of the mine um, and you get paid in rocks and, you know, you pay them. But $50 for a bucket full isn't bad because fire agate once it's polished up once you get into some good stuff it's, it's really good stuff but uh yeah i'll be back don't worry about it and in about a week or two whenever you see what i found on my creek walk you'll understand why i'll be back to really dig harder all right you guys that was quest of fire agate mine place is super cool don is an awesome guy and uh tell you what I would have loved it a whole lot more had it not been like 112 degrees with like 25 30 percent humidity I am not used to that kind of humidity out there I get high humidity here in St. Louis would you stop looking at me I'm talking to the people I get used to that kind of humidity here in St. Louis but I was I was raised out there that was crazy high humidity oh, I love you buddy but anywho Hamilton and I we hope you guys enjoyed the video. We hope you guys get a chance to maybe go out to Arizona sometime and do some rock hounding. And, of course, we hope to see you guys the next time we're out hunting rocks. Don't we, Hamilton? Yeah, we do. So, have a good one, guys. Bye. Say bye, Hamilton. He says bye.